This is looking out the ODS center line up at the mirror as we're approaching from underneath. This is the uh, mirror view, what they saw as they were looking down at the space shuttle Atlantis uh, passing over the Earth. This is a view of the Mir space station as we passed from across the Terminator uh, from sun, uh, sunlit portion of the planet to the backside. This is the end game here. This is where it all comes together and uh, hitting those critical docking parameters. Uh, the target, of course, is shown on the right on this split screen image. Uh, we really did get that jostle as we uh, made contact and had the post-contact thrusting firing. Here's a view of the initial hatch opening uh, from the Russian side, of course. And uh, you're going to see a couple of uh, happy faces here between uh, Yuri Onofarenko and uh, Kevin Chilton. Tremendous, uh, tremendous relief uh, once you get there and you, uh, you join up and, and realize that uh, it's an excellent place to be. There's some good work going on up there and uh, felt like home for Shannon already. And of course, Shannon, uh, she felt at home the minute she got there, and uh, they put her right to work. She, uh, she was one of the experts in the transfer activities. And here you see the gift exchange. So some of the gifts that we gave them were, were uh, space books for their children. And uh, it uh, brought tears to their eyes. Our first job was to install some clamps on the handrails to deploy the experiment packages later. And then our task was to move to a camera to remove it on the docking module. And this was used on STS-74 when they docked with Mir, and then when they left the docking module there, it was left there also. So one of our tasks was to remove it and bring it back to Earth. And here you see Rich, he's uh, translating with the camera itself, which is, is rather large, and he was being very careful of that as he shepherded it back to the, the tunnel adapter where he stowed it uh, temporarily back inside till we were finished with the EVA. Here you see uh, Linda and myself removing one of the four MEEP containers for installation into the, onto some clamps on the docking module. Uh, we tested out some new tools and equipment for use on the ultimate uh, International Space Station, uh, the rigid tether and the multiple use tether, which we used to transport the, uh, the MEEPs to their work site and uh, install them into the clamps. Uh, here you're going to see one of those activities. And then uh, one of the funnest things that Linda and I had to do were the uh, deployment of the MEEPs, and you're going to see that here. Uh, it's so much easier to do up there. You just give it a little flick and it uh, flies around. It all worked well, and we deployed uh, this one here is uh, MEEP number four, I believe. Uh, the, the MEEP experiments are orbital debris sensors and uh, passive uh, samplers. This is the farewell ceremony, and I think I can speak for the rest of the crew. Certainly for me, it was the most emotion-filled moment that I'd had in orbit in two missions. Uh, of course, saying goodbye to Shannon, there's uh, Chile giving her a hug and wishing her well for her uh, long stay up there until STS-79 goes back to pick her up. On undock day, we uh, again were very busy on that day, similarly to the uh, docking day. The initial separation burn, a couple of uh, low Z uh, pulses out to uh, get going. And as we continued to fly out, we uh, assumed a range of uh, 450 to 550 feet targeted to conduct this fly around of the mirror.